Hey YouTube, how's it going? Venom Man 20 here tonight. So it finally happened. I was able to buy my Black Mamba. It's a little guy, just a little male. He's about three foot long. And I have multiple warnings from the guy who sold him to me. Be careful with this snake. This snake ain't a joke. Don't try to tail this snake. This snake will kill you. This snake's nuts. This snake tries to kill me a lot. Be very careful. So, I'm going to do just that. Since I don't know the snake, I'm going to heed his warning, because clearly he knows something I don't. But let's go ahead and try to unbox this guy safely and check out the most feared snake on earth. All venomous snake handling in this video is performed by a professional. Please don't try anything you're about to see at home. So I'm down to my last two zip ties. Uh, we're gonna pretend like the snake's already out, even though he should still have two more forms of barrier once we do get this open. But it's better safe than sorry with the snake this serious. Throw this out of the way. Put this up. So I've been warned multiple times that this snake is a little crazy. So we'll see how true that is. Here's the tub I'm going to be putting them in for transport until I can put them so there's no enclosure. But I wanted to have a big, spacious room to be able to get away from this snake if he is as crazy as the guy who had him said he is. I also have a tile floor so he can't get a lot of traction. Uh, this gives, gives me a little bit more of an advantage because at this point I am not the fastest thing in this room at all by a long shot. So uh, let's check this little guy out. So I'm going to pick this up, put it over here. Got a lot of newspaper in here. This song is still inside of his container. Yeah, this should be good. I'm going to grab tongs just in case. Our second container here, all taped up with red electrical tape. That's good. And then there's a bag. So snake bags are dangerous because a snake can still bite through the bag. So that's a bad thing because it can kind of send you into a false sense of security. Since I'm aware of this, I'm not going to take any chances. So there's two ways this can go. I can go very slow, the snake can move very slow, and we can hope to get him in there very smoothly. Probably ain't gonna go like that. I've been told the snake's crazy. So with that being said, I'm probably gonna have to wear him out. It might take about five minutes for him to get gassed. By the time he's completely chilled out, then I should be able to easily enough hook him in there, in theory. We'll find out. Let's pretend like he's not in the bag and he's under the bag. Even though that bag is zip tied three times over, just as long as the bag don't have a hole, we should be good. There we go. He's still into the bag. Hey little boy. You're going to be 
Filippone. So I'm going to grab my knife again. Every time I think I'm done, I'm not. <laughs> Push the snake down the end of the bag. Here, move, move your little body. Oh, there it goes. Got a little worked up. So if I get him to the end of the bag, I pressure him knee on the snake hook, and then work without him getting up to my hands. It's the goal, at least. Scissors for these at night are a little sketchy. So I got some scissors. These are kind of like hair cutting scissors. Hopefully this ain't the second set of scissors I break this week, but uh, might be. So we'll find out soon enough. And he also tied the bag. Man, you are on it. This guy knows what he's doing. Wind blowing past the window, I heard a hiss. I'm like, man, he is worked up. Listen to him. It's not him. <laughs> I don't think. Maybe it is. <laughs> Like I said, this guy warned me multiple times that the snake is crazy. He said that his nine foot female is nothing compared to the snake. This is still just a little guy, so we'll find out. Okay, he's got his tail right past my handle. That is him hissing. That is 100% him hissing. Okay, so he is free. Twist this up. Move these off the floor so I don't trip over anything. Make sure both cameras are still running doing good. Okay, I'm gonna grab my tongs. So I do have tongs on me. I don't believe in using tongs. But if everything goes wrong today, I do have tongs just in case. Because I can't lose this snake, needless to say. This is a pretty much escape proof room. But what if? I don't want him behind the file cabinets or anything like that. Black Mamba. Some people say that this is the fastest snake on earth. I don't know if that's true. Coastal type hands and Eastern Browns are also very quick, but this snake is fast. He is to say. There he is, hooded and going nuts. Little baby black mama, Dendroapis polylepis. So what does that mean? Poly meaning many, lepis meaning scales. This is the most feared snake on earth, right here. Sorry for dropping him so many times, he just is not riding this hook. Stop. Hey, calm down. But as you see, just like all snakes, he is trying to get away from me. He does not like me. He thinks I'm a butthole, I understand. He's afraid of me. But this is a beautiful animal, nice yellow hood. Oh, he's gaping, look at that. That is a uh, typical, that's actually how they get their name, Black Mamba. A lot of people think it's because they're black in color. That is actually false. It is because they have a black mouth. 
So a snake this size is totally capable of taking me out. An adult specimen, this is the second largest venom snake on earth, I might add, but an adult specimen would uh, possibly give up to 400 meg of venom. It only takes 10 to 15 meg to kill a person. So with that being said, um, one bite could kill 40 adult men. This has one of the fastest acting venoms on earth. Now, unlike a lot of venomous snakes, it's gonna do no tissue damage. You're barely even going to know that you got bit. It does not hurt. Uh, they're actually working on uh, a pain reliever from the snake's venom because it has, <laughs> it actually is almost like a stronger than morphine. It's just one of the strongest pain relievers out there. But within about 15 minutes, you'll probably start to lose consciousness, lose the ability to speak. Uh, you'll pretty much go paralyzed within 30 minutes. Within 45 minutes, you will lose the ability to breathe, and then you die. So, if you can be put on a respirator and you don't go into kidney failure, there would be no reason why you would die from the snake bite. In theory, I mean, it's, it's, it's not the worst of the venoms. You know, to get bit by this versus getting bit by a Bothrop species, I would take this any day of the week if the anti-venom is readily available. The problem is, in Africa, where these guys live, the medical treatment's not the best. So this is the second largest venomous snake on earth. These guys can get up to 14 foot long. This, of course, is just a tiny little baby. He's just a little boy. But like I said, so he'll open up his mouth and it's real black. Deep down on the inside, that's how they get the name Black Mamba. Now you see the way he's hooding right now. You're like, man, he almost looks like a cobra. He kind of does. And he's not. He is an elapid, a lot like the cobras, but he isn't actually related to the cobras. But if you look at the evolutionary tree, these guys are super closely related to king cobras. They're actually more closely related to king cobras, and king cobras are cobras. So these are one of the smartest snakes on earth. What makes this animal so dangerous is the fact that they're terrified of everything. This is the biggest wuss in the snake world. So therefore, they uh, they just they get so worked up. You getting a close up into that camera? Yeah, kinda. You're being a good little dude. I'm so happy you're being so nice. Now these are said to be able to go 10 to 12 miles an hour on flat ground. And what you don't understand by saying that he can go 10 to 12 miles an hour, he's not going to slow down to cut through a bush. He is going to continue with that speed all the way through that bush. So when you're like, oh, I can run more than 12 miles an hour, you can, but you can't outrun the snake. But he is pretty. I like him, awesome little guy. So this is captive born and bred right here in America. Uh, these guys are not endangered or anything of the sort. But it is the most feared snake on earth. What are you doing, little guy? Let's get a little bit closer to the camera so everybody can see you. He started opening up his mouth and hood just a little bit. You want to look at the camera? Ah, he just bit my mic. Thanks for putting venom on my mic, bro. That was awesome. Be cool if you didn't ever do that again. <laughs> he don't like you guys. He hates YouTube. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Don't Anyway, before I wear out my welcome, I'm going to go ahead and put him up. I will be putting him inside his temporary enclosure tonight. It could work as a permanent, not permanent enclosure, but it could work as an enclosure for the next few months, but I'm not sure. It's more arboreal, and black mambas, unlike almost every other, or every other mamba, they're not real arboreal. As babies, they will climb quite a bit. As adults, they are very good climbers, but they do kind of like the ground. So we'll see. If he utilizes the climbing space, we'll give him the climbing space. If he doesn't, we won't. Ready to go up, little dude? Let's go ahead and put you up. 
You did so well. I'm so proud of you. Sorry, sorry for griping at you for biting my mic. I just wasn't expecting you to do that. I do appreciate everybody who has made it to the end of this video. Make sure that you go ahead and smash that like button and please subscribe so you don't miss future content with this little black mamba and many other venomous snakes. Yet again, as always, thank you for watching. Make sure you show your friends and have a wonderful evening.